everyone, so today I want to talk to you about Cash in the Attic. I'm currently going through this massive phase of watching antiques programs. I've always watched them, you know, all my life I've watched them and I love them. They are my, my favourite type of program and there are many of them. Um, Cash in the Attic is probably my least favourite out of them all, but it's still good. Um, the name, I was going to say the, the name is pretty self-explanatory, but having said that, it's not. Basically, your antique experts go around... Um, <laughs> not just random people's house you apply for the show obviously and you say yes please come and look at our stuff and see what we can sell and then you know the experts will look around the house find what they can sell find what's quite antique and um, put a price on it and if the household agrees to sell it it'll go to auction and then they'll see if it sells which is quite interesting it's pretty much like any other antique show except rather than going around car boot sales or around um auction houses or you know, browsing the internet they are going around a specific person or people's house which um, I think is quite interesting and um, I always get quite amazed at how many sort of antique things people tend to have if you looked around, well not my room, but if you looked around my stuff you wouldn't find that many antiques now bearing in mind I am 20 I haven't got any um, material inheritance from anybody or anything yet you know touch wood that's not going to happen anytime soon but it is quite amazing how many things these people have from, you know, hundreds of years ago. And to be honest, I am, in my mind, a collector of antiques. I haven't got anything to physically show for it yet, but I love going on eBay and looking for things and grabbing bargains when I can. So it is quite fascinating in that sense. It is kind of weird, though, because they are kind of like, and you'll just leave the expert to go and look all around your house. I kind of do wonder if the actual the people, the household, actually get the stuff out and say, right, we want this, 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 and this valued and then we put it to auction. What I also love about it is that it's not completely sob story driven, which none of the other antiques programs are, but this one has the potential to be, because, um, you know, they, they, they give a reason for why they want to sell these things to raise money. And uh, I mean, the last one I watched was kind of sob story, but it wasn't really at the forefront. The last one I watched, um, the family wanted to raise about £500 to go to Disney, Florida, I think it was. Um, and there was a slight soft story, you know, various members of the family had passed away over the last couple of years so they wanted to give their, their um, the three-year-old daughter a treat, which I think was nice because it wasn't all about soft story, you know. Um, that wasn't really the main focus of it, which is fine. Um, but programs like that, other programs do, you know, have the tendency of being soft story, and that's annoying. But this is fantastic. Also, it's not all fantastic um, in the sense of sales. It's the last one I watched. I'll just focus on this one because it's at the forefront of my mind because I watched it yesterday. Um, very few of the items they, they put to auction hit even the low estimate. You know, a lot of them got under. And you do feel kind of sorry for them thinking they've just lost that item for a pathetic price. But it's the risk you take with auctioning, you know. Um, some of them I think I would have paid more than that, you know. So it is quite... It's quite interesting and you, it's just not as quick paced as what I would like, you know, sometimes with put your money where your mouth is, that is, you know, that's quick, 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 everything's going on and going on and going on and you're really gripped. This one's a little bit more slow and mellow, so if you're perhaps winding down of an evening and you want to watch something a little bit more relaxed that's not going to get your blood racing too much, I, I definitely think Cash in the Attic is the program for you. It's brilliant. If you're going to be a BBC iPlayer, there, oh, yesterday when I watched it, um, there was four episodes. And they weren't in order, it was like episode 10, episode 19, episode 24. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. But there are episodes on iPlayer if you wish to check it out. Which you do, because it's great, I promise you, you will love it. But let me know which your favourite antique programme show is. Um, I will review a couple more over the next few weeks, just as I'm getting through my little obsession just now. Um, you know, there's still loads of Bargain Hunt, there's Dickinson's Real Deal, there's... Um, there's another which has gone off the top of my head, but never mind. Um, but let me know your thoughts on this. If you've never seen it, go and check it out. It is. It's such great fun. Um, it's also nice to see what people have in their houses as well, because I'm nosy. Uh, but let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.